Hello and welcome back to The Witcher on Nixus Gaming. Last episode, we did a bunch of exploring through the outskirts of Vizima here. Oh, how do I how do I get rid of those? Right click. I didn't realize I've been uh, putting those down all over the place, but uh, we explored all of this, got some good loot, we got a little bit of dice poker in, we got a little bit of drinking in, we did a fist fight, and we of course plowed some girls because remember the three things that witchers do they fight they plow and they drink but enough fun for t for now uh yes enough fun for now let's get on with the main quest shall we so let's open up our primary quest looks let's see of monsters and men i must see the reverend Salamander's tail, I should speak to the Reverend. So it looks like we need to go talk to the Reverend now. Alright, so the Reverend is going to be in this small little town area. Right up here. And uh, he should have some more quests to give us. And uh, should put us on our way to figure out what's going on with the Hellhound and the Beast and the... Uh, shit, did I just give away what the uh, Beast is? Ignore what I just said. Let's uh, let's go talk to the Reverend, right? The Reverend. Yes, the Reverend over here is just a beast, nothing more. Be gone, devil's breed. Calm yourself, priest. I merely wish to speak with you. There is nothing to speak of. Indeed, there is. I seek Salamandra. I heard they come here. They'll kill us because of you. I have ways of showing gratitude. What ways? You're troubled by a beast. Not your business. I'm a witcher. I could help. Another witcher came recently. Berengar. He promised to slay the beast, but fled when it howled. I'm not Berengar. If you want my trust, bear the eternal fire's light to the people and dispel the darkness. You'll find five chapels around the village. Fire won't scare the beast. This is more than a stray dog. The eternal fire, blasphemer. You can be sure it will scare off beasts, for it has been said that though his soul be in darkness and his visage be a horror, do not judge him hastily, for he will carry the flame of hope into the night. And also, you shall only be safe in the glow of the eternal fire. All right, but it will cost you one hundred warrens. Very well, but the eternal fire must appear at night in all five chapels. I'm looking for men who wear salamander-shaped pins. That's not wise. Why? Vexing them may shorten your life. Do I look scared? Another witcher came here before you. He too swaggered with audacity. And yet, do you see him? Not likely. He fled. He's not me. Do not sneer at Salamandra. The whole village fears them for a reason. You must convince us all. What can I do? For me, destroy the beast. As for the others, visit Odo, Mikkel, and Harn. Can you solve their problems, too? Are they elders of some sort? Everyone knows and respects them. Odo's rich, Harn a merchant, and Mikkel a city guard. Gain their trust, and you'll win the trust of the village. We'll see. Wait. They need to believe I sent you. Show them this ring of the eternal fire. All right, so we have a, a signet ring now to show these guys. We learned a little bit more about Berengar. Apparently, he was here. And then we need to light the five chapels of the Eternal Fire at night and then gain the villagers' trust. But I think there were a few more things we could talk to the Reverend about first. Speak quickly. I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire has offered a reward for drowners, as long as you can prove you killed some. I have drowner heads. My reward? Here. May the Eternal Fire illuminate your path. Alright, so we finished the drowner contract. Speak quickly. Are you a chaplain of the Eternal Fire? Yes, Helen! Only the eternal fire can save us from the white frost. Really? So says the prophecy of Ithleen, the elven witch. Is that so? The old world will die, 
to be born again from a seed that will not sprout, but burst into flames. You seem to contradict yourself. You mock me, Witcher. So tell me, who gave you leave to meddle in the affairs of humans? You, an emotionless mutant. Answer, who? The eternal fire, no doubt. Return to your dark life, heathen. One more thing. Speak quickly. Uh, I think that's about it. <laughs> Alright. So... Yes. I guess it's daytime. So we should probably start with the villagers' trust. I'm thinking. But which one do we want to do first? first salamander's tail uh we want to do dead hand of the past first i'm just not sure which one of these guys gives that quest so i'm looking at it now um it's actually none of those guys it's actually a guy back at the inn not related to the main quest at all. Apparently this is not a main quest. Alright. Well, so we're not starting the main quest quite yet. We're going to go back to the inn and talk to this other guy first. A little bit misleading, but oh well. The quests in this game can be a little confusing if you don't know what you're doing. Chances are you'll probably miss a few of them. In my first playthrough, I tried to hit every quest I could. I used a guide to find them all. And I still ended up missing like two of them, I think. I know one of the ones I missed, and it spans through a bunch of chapters. And I'm gonna try and get that this that one this time. I can speak, please. Thank you. But I'm gonna try and get that one this time. I'm gonna try and get all of them this time, hopefully. And it should be good. It should be good. It should be good. Like, uh, the one I missed, for example, you need to bring a bunch of different monster parts to this guy in one of, like, the last chapters. But some of those monsters only appear in the earlier chapters. Like, one of the things we need to bring him is a bar guest skull. And those things only appear in this chapter. So we need to keep one extra of those and carry it with us through pretty much the whole game. Which sucks, but it's how it works. Alright, we're looking for a Duclair Lavarden? Or something like that? Declan Lavarden. Luvarden. Finally, uh, someone sensible here. And you are? Luvarden. Merchant. Of those Luvardens. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately. My friend disappeared in the cave beneath the Zima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? All right. My friend tried evading the quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, Surely danger falls. Alright. So we need to go find his companion in the cavern beneath the city walls. Now this might be a little bit of a short quest. So I've decided that uh, if we finish it up quickly, we are going to still do one of the main quests for one of these villagers. We're going to go see Odo first. I think he'll be the shortest quest of the three, and he doesn't have any others that tie into his, so it should be fine. Alright, so we need to go to the cave beneath the city walls, which is somewhere. It's right over there. So I don't know if I'm going the faster way or not. I'll go the normal way. The main road, I guess. Some of these are green. I'm not sure what the difference between the green names and the uh, blue names are. Also, these are the shrines that we have to light at night 
They have to be lit at night. So don't worry about them right now. But those are the ones you'll be looking for. Alright. Just walking along. So we're going to a cave. And uh, when you walk up to the cave, Geralt makes a mention that whatever is in that cave is not friendly. And I think there are a bunch of bones at the entrance to the cave. So uh, we're probably going to fight something decently strong in there, I'd assume. It'll be fine. It'll be fun. We'll make it. We'll survive. We'll do that. We'll turn in the trophy from the uh, Drowner that we fought last episode. And then we'll head over to Odo. It's going to be a nice, fun episode, right? No idea what Odo's going to have us do to gain his trust. But it should be fine. I do actually have an idea of it. It's a pretty dark quest when you read into it. A lot of the stuff in this game... It's very dark when you read into it. A good example that I can show you right now, if we go into our uh, monsters here, the Drowners, let's see, they're scoundrels who ended their wicked lives in the water. The drowned alive and thrown into deep water after death, they turn into vengeful creatures which stalk the inhabitants. And the drowned dead... They're just particularly strong and dangerous drowners. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, these are just uh, really bad people who died in water. Like, really bad people. And that's why I guess they turn into these things and they just hunt people down and kill them for sport after that. It's not as dark as I thought it was, but, uh... There's some darker stuff in this game. You'll see. You'll definitely see. Alright. Loop around this way. The cave in question is over here. So uh, let's see what kind of fun we have. I don't think I'll need to make a, a potion to see in here. Hopefully not. The caves aren't usually that, uh, that dark. You see here the bones I was talking about. Let's head on in. Let's just get our sword out and be ready. We have an Echinops here. All right. Oh, there's two of them. I am using the strong style on the, these guys, and it is working out. There we go. So the Echinops here, they're plant monsters, in case you were curious and couldn't tell. Doesn't look like they have any loot. That's probably because we don't have a bestiary entry on them. Got another one right here. Is there another one attacking us? Because we're uh, taking some decent damage. No? Alright, continuing on. I'm not seeing any more. Oh, I hear it. Oh, two more. Three more. Okay, this might be bad. Can you attack, please? Why aren't you... Oh my god. Come on. Take out one. Move over to the next one, quickly. It wouldn't let me attack. It, it just did it again. Why, why is it stopping me from attacking? That's... Mm. Okay, oh, there's so many more of them, actually. There's two more behind me. Okay. Okay. So there's five of them over there. I killed one, and another of them's almost dead. That's a lot, dude. That is a lot. I don't want to fight all of those. 
Just, uh, how big is this place? It's just this area. It's just this area. Oh, man. Do I have a potion that'll heal me up? Increases vitality regeneration. I don't want to take the unknown potion. Let's, uh... Take that, I guess. That's healing us up a bit. How long is that going to last? It's going to last a decent bit. I think we're good to get in now. Come on. I, I wish I could attack. That's the problem I'm having. It won't let me attack. Alright, there's the second one down. Let's move over to you. What, what am I stuck on? There we go. In hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have gone for the two middle ones right away. But I did, and I think just all of them hitting me at once was uh, stopping me from attacking. But I got two more, I should be able to take care of them. Can you get your sword back out, please? Thank you. Alright, alright, last one. All right, those things are a uh, are a little tough, a little tough, just a little tough. And it does seem there's more to go through in there. I can loot these guys. I can. These guys have loot on them, unless no, that's I don't know. Okay, let's uh. I don't see anything else in here. So I guess uh, let's go ahead and leave. Maybe. Do I get anything on that quest? I'm so confused. I have to find his companion in the cavern beneath the city walls. Like this cavern here, cave beneath the city wall. There's not another cave anywhere. Did I uh, just miss his companion's body down here somewhere or what? Did I see a bunch of bones. Oh, please don't tell me all of these guys came back. Oh, are you serious, dude? Are you serious right now? Are all of five of these guys back here? I see something there. Dude. Dude. Okay, this is... Oh my god, I can't even... Please. 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 Let me just get to this guy on the edge here. Well, uh, this will be some XP for us, I guess. Uh, you guys have already seen this, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna pause here and come back after I've killed all these guys again, because... As you can see, it is very annoying. I'll be, uh, back in a second. Okay. So they're all dead again, and it seems I did just miss a, a pile of human remains here. Kind of right in the middle of everything. So uh, yeah, you want to come in here, kill all those things. Don't walk out without uh, collecting those. But uh, now that we got the remains there, let's, uh, let's head back to Declan and see what he has to say.
Those things were really annoying for like no reason at all. But we did get a level up, so before we go, let's uh, stop here and assign some talents. We have three of them for this level. I think we... No, we do still have some stuff we want to use the uh, strong steel on. Let's uh, get damage plus 20, bleeding, and... Damage plus 25. Alright. And let's meditate. That'll help us do some more damage to enemies, at least. Alright. Moving on. Moving on. That cave was terrible. And uh, I don't think it was because I was using the wrong style at all, because once... It seems like as soon as they threw in a third plant to attack me, I just couldn't attack at all. But once I got it down to two plants only, I just tore through them. But they were so close to each other, three of them just kept stunning me. And it was terrible. Absolutely terrible. It's whatever though, I guess. Let's, uh... We'll go talk to Declan, show him the human remains, and then I think he's going to have us come back up to the Reverend's house real quick. Which isn't going to be a huge issue. On our way back, we'll stop by a hunter, hunter and uh, we'll give something to him to complete another quest that I was going to do later, but I'll do it now. Actually, I was going to do it now. I was going to do it at this point, so it doesn't matter. Um, if I can remember where he is, I think he's by a campfire back this way. Right over there, I think. I see him walking around. Alright. This is going to get us a little bit more money, too. I remember mentioning it when I killed the monster, but it was that a uh, Nadir, that special drowner we killed, the drowned dead. Uh, yeah, there are like ten trophy monsters that you can kill Greetings, in the game. I'm a local hunter. Greetings. Wonder how I know you. No, so be it. What do you want? I'm looking for witch's work. Since you're here. A monster supposedly haunts the lake shore, devouring peasants late getting home. A ghoul may have made its lair in the crypt. How much for each? You witches do nothing disinterestedly. Kill a monster, bring me proof, and I'll reward you generously. Did the peasants say anything more about the lake shore monster? Just that it hunts by the lake at night and kills people. What does the creature from the crypt look like? Perhaps a standard ghoul, but who knows? See for yourself. I have the head of the lakeshore monster. Impressive indeed for a drowner. Even looks like... Holy Melitelli! A drowned dead! That earns you 200 orins. How much do you collect for a drowner? It's my professional secret. Come on, we're in the same profession. It seems so. So... How much for a drowner? Depends, but on average, 80 orins. I've never come close to that. I knew something was wrong with those prices. Calm down. Progress wherever you look. Only witchers, the relics they are, still work for a pittance, while being called freaks by those they do favors for. A fair day's wage for a fair day's work. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Take care. Alright, so now we've turned that in. He's told us about another monster in the crypt that we'll have to kill. We'll get to that in an episode or two. But again, we're just going to make our way back to Declan here for now. He should still be in the inn. He should still be in the inn. In the inn. All right.
Uh, there he is. Right next to Zoltan. Any news? Can I sell him stuff? What can I sell him? Sorry, I'm distracted. I don't use the whetstones. Get rid of those. I need to keep the signet ring, sell the silver ring. I think we can sell the shawls. Make some money. We're making a fair bit of money now. Hell yeah. I'm gonna keep a full stack of flint on me at least, because that's what I'm using to light fire. Or light the uh, camps up so I can meditate. So get rid of those. Sell the gold diamond ring. 120 orns for that. We'll get rid of the diamond two for 60. And there we go. That's some inventory space back now. All right. Any news? These are your friend's remains. What killed him? I cannot say. I don't know what that is, but. I trust you'll fulfill the deal and bury the body. But we agreed. We agreed. A decent burial. Well, I won't pay. What's decent? Lacking anything better? The crypt beneath the Reverend's church. Crypt beneath the Reverend's church. So as I said, he's sending us back towards the Reverend. All right. There's a lot of back and forth that happens in this game, which makes me kind of sad that you just have to walk everywhere. It's kind of slow, there's no fast travel. Like, it's during the day here, so it's not like I'm going to encounter any monsters or anything. It's an older game, so there aren't really any random encounters other than monsters. It's just... I don't know. It's kind of slow, you know? So I can see that being a complaint about the game, but other than that, like, everything's pretty top-notch with this series in general. So I'll play it. I'll walk around a bit. I'll walk around to play it. No biggie here. Alright, walking through this same set of buildings. We've walked through a lot. I'm not sure if the Reverend's going to let us into his uh, church quite yet. I hope so. I hope so. Because this is an inter interesting quest to do. And I already started it, so I kind of want to finish it this episode, too. Alright, let's head up this way. Past the village militia. And let's talk to the reverend. Speak quickly. I'd like to bury a man in the crypt beneath the church. Impossible. But the crypt is a place of honor. You think anyone can demand a burial there? And if I were to do something for you to deserve that honor? Serve the eternal fire. Carry the fire to the chapels, and I'll give leave to bury your dead in the crypt. Okay, so, uh, I guess we need to light the chapels first. No big deal, we can do that, we can do that. Um, let's see, the chapels are gonna be the red dots here. I just need to find a campfire or something so I can go ahead and rest till night. You can't do this unless it's nighttime. There's that one that's kind of out of the way of everything, which sucks. Um... Yeah, maybe we'll start, we'll go up to there, and we'll rest till night, and then we'll just work our way back around. That seems like the plan here. Alright. So I guess we aren't doing the quest with Odo this time, this episode, because this is taking a little longer than I thought. No biggie, we are lighting the fires, so we are still technically doing a main quest here. Technically. This uh, thing with Declan, though, it's definitely a side quest. But it's an interesting one. It ties in to the main quest pretty well. So uh, we'll get to see that. We'll get a foreshadowing of things to come. 
It's going to be good, trust me. It'll be good. I need to uh I need to buy a book for field plants so I can see what those plants are at least and I can pick them if I need them. I'm just uh I'm very greedy in this game if I'm being honest. I don't want to buy anything I don't need. And I don't need need that book, you know. All right, where's this campfire? Here it is. Let's uh, meditate till dusk. You think dusk is late enough? What what time is it right now? Oh, it is dusk. All right, let's just wait like two hours then past dusk. That should be dark enough. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're already getting attacked. It's definitely dark enough. Oh, hi there. There's two of you. Easy. Can I, uh, loot this, please? Thank you. And the other one. Thank you. Alright. So we're gonna work our way around this way, lighting all the fires. First one should be around here somewhere. Right over there. Eternal Fire Shrine. Um, how do I do this? Oh yeah, you just drag the Holy Flame into it. And I'm pretty sure it's scripted that these things show up whenever you light one, so uh... Be ready to fight them off. Alright. A bit of a walk to the next one, because that's the farthest one out. No big deal, though. Was that a monkey on the ground next to me? I guess it was. I heard the monkey, like, scream, but I didn't think they actually showed up in the game. I thought it was just background noise. All right, another one down, another one down. Another Bargus bites the dust. Passing the inn here, we should start seeing more shrines coming up. Just check the map, make sure I haven't missed any. Nope, it's just one, two, three, and four along the path. Oh, cool. I need to kill some of you. As you can see, the ghouls are uh, pretty strong, pretty strong. Which is one reason I uh, upgraded my strong steel attack too. The part that sucks right now, that's the ghoul blood we need for the contract. The part that sucks right now, you don't get a silver sword until chapter 2. And a silver sword is going to do a lot more damage to some of these monsters. That one didn't spawn a bar guest in it, okay. But yeah, silver sword definitely works a lot better. You don't get one till chapter 2, so you're kind of stuck with a steel sword, which is weaker against them. But uh, as you can see, I'm not having too much trouble with that anyway. Here we go. That one spawned a group of them. So let's just get out the group style, right? Alright. Really? Dude, I'm in the middle of looting your friends here and you just show up? How rude. Get out of here. I'll add your loot. Fine. Take your skull if you want me to take it that bad. Alright, moving on, that's, what, three shrines? I think that's three. The fourth one should be right up here, and the fifth one's, like, right in town. So, 
We're almost done. There's the fourth one here. That guy, look at that. That guy spawned before I even put the thing in. And, okay, there we go. Come on. Man, that group style is working great for these guys, though. Oh, and another one. So I hope you guys can fight these things whenever you're doing this quest. Because uh, as you can see, I'm fighting a lot of them. Don't worry about not being able to do the Bargus contract, because if you can't do that, you can't play through this chapter. Alright, last one. Like I said, should be up here in town. At least here I got a bunch of guys who can fight these things off with me, right? A bunch of guys I can just accidentally hit and kill and get hostile to me. Oh no, they didn't even help me. Of course not. Dude. Can you chill? Let me at least light the thing? Can you... What? What's your problem? Let me attack. Did you just... Dude. Dude, seriously. You're pissing me off. Let me do the thing. There. Jesus. That was how many? Like, six of them? That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight things of loot. There were eight of them there. That is ridiculous. And of course, now we have to wait till day to, uh, to talk to the reverend. Can you hit the Bargus or just disappear, I guess? Thanks for wasting my time, right? Alright, where's the closest campfire? I guess it's that one down there. Okay, heading down here now. Oh, we got some drowners coming up after us now. I'm going to try and skirt the edge here and stay away from them. All right. Let's meditate till noon. All right. Now the reverend should be out. We can tell him we lit his stupid fires. And then uh, he'll let us into the chapel to uh, bury this guy. And maybe we'll see an old friend in there, too. Maybe. Alright. Right up here. Where's he at? He's over here. Speak quickly. I carried the eternal fire to all the chapels. The beasts still haunt us! I told you it wouldn't work. Where's my payment? Ah, yes, your payment. The curse must be stronger than I thought. Doubtless caused by that witch, Abigail. An evil woman. A witch? Maybe she can tell us more. She brought the beast and all other calamities upon us. Perhaps, but I'd rather speak with her first. We must know from whence the beast came. Learn the truth. I will, for three hundred orns. Our community is poor. Perhaps two hundred? So be it. Alright, can I go in here now? No, it's still locked. Speak quickly. I'd like to bury a man in the crypt beneath the church. You ignited the eternal fire. I'm grateful. So it's a deal. Inside the crypt lies a crumbling sarcophagus. Crumbling? Rather dig a ditch. I'll take the sarcophagus. 
All right, here we go. Now we can get in. And we can get some more loot while we're here. Like four more orans. And a Buclair White. And nothing else up here. Take the stairs down. There's the sarcophagus. The, the, the sarcophagus there. I thought there was some other stuff here for me to get, but I guess not. Okay. So we want to put the human remains in. chased me, you and your ghastly hunting party. I do still, though chase isn't the word. Why is that? My task is to see destiny fulfilled. Say I believe you. Will you tell me my destiny? Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge, the other is... There is no destiny. Only coincidence, blind chance. <laughs> you doubt destiny. Do you not believe a child marked by destiny will pass through the witcher's trials? You will give me what you already have, but do not expect. Does that sound familiar? Yes. So no, witcher, that in the future you will surrender unto me the soul of a dear one. It is written, a person both dear and distant, a traveler beyond time. I shall ever be on your trail. Andrian Var, Sauv Leotervle. You mock destiny. You mock it and trifle with it. Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge, and the other is death? No. It's we who die, because of you. Unable to catch you, death contents itself with us. Death stalks you, following in your footsteps, White Wolf. But others die, because of you. So that is the uh, Ghost of Leo. Surprisingly. And the uh, ghost that appeared before him was the King of the Wild Hunt. Who is the same one who was chasing Geralt through the woods in the beginning of the game. Sorry, Leo. Sorry, buddy. But uh, I'll take that red meteorite from you. That's two of them. You need three meteorites to forge a sword. And if you get three red ones, you can make the stronger... The strongest of the three meteorite swords in the game so that's nice all right so we got that did we finish the quest no i still need to see levardin and collect my payment but yeah it's a nice little tie in there to the main quest at least you see the guy who chased you in the beginning or the ghost who did you see leo again who seems pretty uh vengeful about his death at your hands. I think that's more or less supposed to be the king of the wild hunt uh, influencing him. Like, maybe that's not really Leo, because I don't think Leo would just be super pissed off at Geralt for having him die. I, I just don't see that happening, so... Pretty sure there's some influence from the king of the wild hunt there. I mean, why else would the king of the wild hunt summon him there? If not to fight Geralt, you know? But that that's just my idea. They don't really go into it any more than that. You never see Leo again in the game. I'm going to be honest. And uh, that little interaction is never mentioned anymore in the game. Because like I said, it's technically a side quest. So just take it as you will. Let's uh, head back to the inn, we'll get our payment, and I think we'll end the episode off there. Next episode, we're definitely doing some main quests. I think I've exhausted pretty much all of the side quests in this chapter now. So we gotta start doing main quests. <sighs> gotta do everything, you know? Gotta do everything. Alright. 
into the inn once again. Um, I see Vesna, I see a bard. There he is. Any news? I buried your friend. Sad to end in some forgotten village. It was a decent burial. I'm frozen again. Give me a second, guys. Something? Ah, uh, your 200 odds. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with that, why it's still freezing. I thought I fixed it in between sec uh, sessions. I turned down some video options that I read online might be doing it. They aren't going to show up in here. They're in the advanced. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. So I read that the lighting quality might do it. So I turned that down. I guess... Uh, really don't want to turn down some of this stuff. I like it being high, you know? I mean, that is high, except... Hmm. I don't know. I'll look into it after this episode, see what else I can change to try and fix that. But, uh... That's another quest done. Next time, we're gonna go and we're gonna do the Strangers in the Night quest, which I think is a quest from Heron Brog. So that's where we're going next time. We'll start with that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.